Hi and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are looking at the next three free orchestra two instruments and this will be uh, January, February, March of this year. So we're kind of getting there. We've, uh, we're up to eight now. So we've got another how many to go? Four to go. And uh, like I said, this started off back uh, last year with Sultasto Strings uh, and we've had Bold Legato Brass and the last three were Accenting Winds, Tutti Crescendo, Concert Harp and we are now getting a Lineage Percussion Kit, uh, Lineage Melodic Ensemble and Dystopian Bow. Yeah, so uh, we'll start off with Lineal Percussion Orchestral Kit and uh, this is a wee bit different this one. A Taste of a Lineage Percussion, our brand new orchestral percussion library, masterfully dynamic, exquisitely detailed. The preset pack is a series of percussion hits Whilst there is very small selection of the instruments and articulations found in linear percussion, each key does have full sampling depth as well as real-time microphone positioning. Uh, so this is what this whole malarkey is in the middle. So uh, like I said, it's not the usual kind of layout in the middle. We've got pre-mixed, uh, XY stage and custom mix. So uh, basically what happens is if we go to XY, um, so this is, this is, we'll just turn this down a wee bit so it's quite loud this one. So that is kind of in the middle. So we've got forward and rear. So you can see there's quite a bit of difference between those. And then you've got over the left and over the right, and then front right and front left. So you obviously need headphones to, to actually hear this, but it is quite, it is quite obvious that the, the sound is changing. So I have, to be honest, I have just been leaving it in pre-mixed so I'll I'll run through. There's 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 not a lot. I mean, as you can see, we're we're only going um, sort of two octaves here. So uh, and they're just the white keys. But obviously, if you go into advanced, you can change that. So if you want to change it up and down, uh, you just adjust the shift button there, which is very clever. So in the advanced section, uh, you can adjust things like velocity tweaks. I to be honest, I don't touch really any of that. I just kind of tweak. Sometimes I change the color and that's about it. Got attack, decay, reverb, stereo, filter, and limiter. Adjust this either with your mouse, which is probably the easiest thing, or with uh, with that as well. So you can kind of move it left and right and all over the place. It's like a game of Pac-Man. On this one, you've got two pages, um, but it just depends. Uh, sometimes there's, the, like I said, this is a bit different, this one. So I'll run through the uh, the actual instruments because like I said, they're only white keys, so there's not a lot. So you get, this is uh, the, gra the Grand Castle one. And you get kind of two keys. You get the, the snare ensemble and you get two of those. I suppose it's so you can kind of do rolls. Um, you get Tom four. So you get two of those as well. And you get Roto Tom three. You get two of them. You get Piatti one. I'm not quite sure what a Piatti is. And then you get suspended symbol and a Kishisha. Kishishi? No idea. And a conga set, conga set, conga set. So that's the last three. So like I said, there's there's very little in this one. That is um, Lineage Kit. Uh, we'll go back and then we've got the Lineage Melodic Ensemble. So you can kind of put these two together, I suppose. And this has got the usual kind of bit in the middle where, so you've got a void level. So you can either switch it from, uh, so you've got your, you can use the first, uh, the second knob to adjust the void level. It's basically a reverb. Um, a sort of more um, intense reverb than the reverb, I would imagine. Uh, and then let's say I can go and adjust things like the attack and uh, also the uh, decay and whatever, so we could have a bit more decay on it. And adjust the... Um, So you get the black keys as well. The, 
this percussion uh, ensemble mixes together three pitched percussion instruments, the marimba, the vibraprome and the celeste. In the original library, they are offered as full range multi-mic individual instruments. Here they can play them as gorgeously incredible dynamic ensemble. Ensemble, even. Right, so this is three instruments playing. Um, so, for instance, you could add in the uh, lineage percussion as well. or not, as the case may be. Right, so that is the first two. Last but not least is probably the best one. This is Dystopian Bow, uh, which is not what you think it is. Um, this haunting Ebo effect was recorded on electric guitar. So, yeah, you weren't expecting that. Uh, in the same lush concert hall environment as our orchestral libraries, it was taken from Symphobia 3 Lumia, uh, used the modulation wheel to control the bipolar dystopian filter. <laughs> Well, that is just the dog's bollocks, isn't it? Right. Uh, and you can see we're going from G2 um, way up to um, uh, 6, whatever that is. Um, so we could shift this down, uh, we could sh shift this up an octave and... So that's the full range. Right, and then we can bring in the uh, the scream. So this is probably the best one out of the three, I have to say. Just because you can actually play it a bit more. Well, I suppose you can play the last one, but this is quite nice. I'm not really a huge fan of my rumbas. Switch the dynamics to uh, velocity. But I think it's better on the mod wheel. That's it, that is your three from, uh, so January, February, March. So God knows what's coming in April, May, June, July, but we will find out over the next few months. So what I've done is I have uh, created, as I do, I've created a few presets using these, mixing with some of the older ones. So I've got Lineage Brass Crescendo, um, and I've set the uh, the beats on the, the Tutti Crescendo to six. So um, I'll just shift my keyboard back up again. Turn this one up a bit. But.
that is let's said lineage the brass and the tutti crescendo yeah so this is the next one this is melodic harp brass so we've got the uh, melodic uh the lineage percussion we've got the concert harp and the brass again well, i haven't moved any of them actually these are all kind of um as their original mapping um so we'll go back to performance and uh what have I done? they've got the void level at 48 percent so let's have a play of this So this is the melodic percussion and the harp. And then we've got the harp and the brass. I do like the brass, I have to say. <laughs> so this is the last one. This is Bo Sultasto, um, and it is just the bow and the Sultasto. Um, and I've got the Scream on 47%. Uh, and as you can see, they are kind of overlapping. Uh, so if we go to Advanced, um, I've shifted the bow down 11, and Sultasto should be on zero. Yeah, so like I said, it is worth playing around with the shift um, when you're combining them. Um, so uh, you can get, and I changed the colors as well, so you can get a better idea of what it looks like on screen, hopefully. So we can play um, if, uh, so we can play the strings on their own. I'm, I'm, down, I'm down an octave here. And uh, the volume needs to go up a bit, I think, on Sultasto. So if I come back down, if I go up two octaves, so that's so tasto at the uh, C6 end. So that's the bow coming in on C5. wheel on the bow adjusts the filter so that's it and like I said I can use the uh, second knob to adjust the screen So it's a very kind of eerie cinematic kind of sound. But 
I do like it. So once I've got all of these instruments, um, I will be putting these presets on the store. Uh, but you can already download Free Orchestra 1 presets on the store that you can download for free because uh, you should obviously get Free Orchestra 1 as well. Uh, and uh, let's say that has been out for a few years. That is, uh, that is it for today's overview of uh, January, February, March. Um, instruments for the free orchestra too so there's a video on the last three as well uh, i said which were the uh, winds the crescendo and the harp and i will leave links to project sam so that you can download these um, and it's the usual uh, native access um, that you have to do and as as i've said in the past i have to reinstall this for, to, for it to work and it is now up to three and a half gigabyte to reinstall uh, with the latest three that have come in. So let's say it won't work unless I do the older version of Native Access and the older version of Contact. Um, so you might not have to do that, but let's say if it doesn't show up, then that is what I would recommend doing. Just reinstall the whole Free Orchestra 2 from Native Access. If you are enjoying these videos, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. And I will see you in three months time.